The next issue that I want to address that you may find yourself confronted with often when you're transitioning to Blender is where to get Blender support. Since there is no central dedicated hotline for Blender support, there's no one that you can just call up and you know get an answer immediately, getting support for Blender can be challenging if you don't know where to go. And while this has definitely improved over the last few years, it's still got room to grow. But as long as you know where to go, then getting Blender support is actually very, very easy. One of the advantages to Blender is that it has a very, very strong, vibrant community behind it with a lot of very, very enthusiastic and very uh, adamantly supportive people. And the best way to get support, number one, is you know if you, have, if you have a problem that you're looking for, number one, check the manual. So if you go to the help, you can find the manual. And this is an online manual in wiki format that has most everything in Blender covered. Now, some things with the development speed of Blender, some things will be out of date for short periods of time, but it has definitely seen a lot of improvements in recent years and is generally a great uh, first step to getting support and double checking uh, you know, your, your problems and whatnot. The next thing is the Blender community. So again, from the help menu, if you go to uh, help and choose user community, this will go directly to the user forms. Well, actually not to the user forms, but to all of the various community sites. And this is a bit overwhelming of sorts because frankly, there's a lot of sites here. Some of them um, have not been updated in a while. This list of sites is probably not as up to date as it should be. And there's obviously a lot of them. So instead of going here, let me just tell you that the de facto Blender community is blenderartist.org. And this is the Blender Artist user community. Uh, it is the quote unquote official form for all community users. And you can find a wealth of support here, everything from Blender discussions to work in progress feedback, to new scripts that people are working on for add-ons, to then dedicated support and tutorials. And you'll find a huge number of users here. Other areas that you can go are the various uh, sites that are run by third parties for tutorials. My own site that I run is blendercookie.com, which is run through, or is our part of our company, CG Cookie, which also runs several other uh, 3D training sites. And we have a very large number of video tutorials available primarily for free, or we also have a dedicated paid membership that gives you further support. So that's one place. Another place is blenderguru.com, which is run by a young man named Andrew Price. Very, very excellent and has a lot of focus more on uh, special effects in Blender than on the various specific things. So he does a lot with fluid simulations, rendering realistic results in cycles, camera tracking, much more on the visual effects and the wow aspects. Uh, and then there's there's many other sites. These are probably the two main ones as far as the amount of content and uh, the consistency of the updates. There's a few others that are the here, there, and the here, uh, or that have been around for quite a while, but are not as consistently updated. And then the third place that I'd like to introduce you to is BlenderNation.com. BlenderNation.com is uh, the again the de facto Blender news site and. Uh, browsing on here, you'll find anything uh, related to the Blender community, Blender training, Blender resources, projects done in Blender. And so while this is not a support site by any means, and they will not take support questions, uh, it can be a place to connect you with further things, such as you know if a, a random user produces, produces an excellent video tutorial, such as this cell fracturing tutorial, then those will oftentimes be posted on Blender Nation. So this is a great place to go to you know, see updates about what's happening in the Blender Blender world. So between Blender Nation, Blender Guru, and Blender Cookie, and Blender Artist, you should be pretty good to go as far as getting support. Um, there are steps being made to get even further dedicated support for Blender, but for the time being, these are really the places to go. And oftentimes on Blender Artist in particular, uh, if you post a support request, as long as you're, uh, you know, being polite up front and actually ex describing what your problem is in detail and the steps that you have taken to solve that problem, then oftentimes you'll see a reply within minutes. It's very, very quick, very responsive, and for the mass majority of the time, very friendly.